Greetings and salutations, Rick Cop coming at you from Denver, Colorado, with another episode of Nautilus Guru Guy. Today we're going to be taking something special for you. We're going to look at Solus 4.4 on my living room computer. Legion, that's why I'm now in my living room, as you can see from the thing back there. And you also notice a little bit of lag because I'm basically using my laptop's camera to record this, and so. Yeah, you know, there's a bit of lag in it, so. Yeah, this is one time thing, probably, hopefully. <laughs> anyway, I've got, I wanted to put it on this computer because I want to see how it does with a dedicated NVIDIA card in it. So it's a bit of a test. It may fail, it may totally utterly fail. We'll find out, but we're going to check it out and see what it can do. What we're going to do first is we're going to go to the web page and check that out first, all right? So here we have a uh, Get Solus US is the screen name of it. Yeah, so we get Sol US dot US Solus Get Solus basically the whole thing, but you got a dot right in the beginning of US. Yeah, they've had an interesting history because they've had some downtime. The website was down last year, a good bit, but uh, I think the main developers come back and they're getting put back together and to 4.4 is really nice nice distros you'll see pretty soon okay you go to download you want to download and then I download Soul Spongy right here you also got a choice of GNOME desktop Plasma desktop Monte desktop and yeah so you got that I'm going to download Bungie because it's kind of like their flagship desktop. And it's a really nice desktop actually. So yeah, I got a Bungie on here. Yeah, just put that on a USB stick and you got to go in. This is what I got on here right now. Which is, this is my uh, bookworm I installed here. Now I don't have any video drivers installed here. It wouldn't work for some reason. I'm unable to determine why, but... It's a nice desktop and everything, and it works, and it's you can't really play any games on it with the Vulcan and Proton, those kind of things, because it, uh, so it doesn't really work well with the Nobu drivers to play games on Steam and stuff like that. You can play basic games, like I saw Tux Racer, Extreme Tux Racer in here, but yeah, you can't really install, play games on it that much on Steam and stuff like that, unless you have the MIDI drivers installed in it, actually. So we're going to see how well Solus does with this, too. It's up to date, pretty much. And Bookworm actually works decently well for what it does. You can't play Steam games on it and things like that. So if you want to use this as a gaming distro, which some people might on occasion. I don't know. It's a family computer out here in the living room. We'll go down here. We'll see what we got. My Vento, I updated my Vento, actually, by the way, recently. So it should work a lot better than it has in the past. I uh, changed resolution on me for some reason. Okay, we are on Ventoy. Install Souls 4.4 Bungie. Budgie. You know, do this in the compatible mode. So we can see if we can install the uh, drivers for the NVIDIA. Okay, there you go. It's got the new drivers in there. Let's see. He said network's available. So let's find it. Nice to establish. Yeah, it's nice down in the background. It's really nice. I like that background. I like one of the other ones even better. Okay. I don't know what that is for long. Anyway, you got an install over here. So we're going to go here and install it. 
That installs pretty quick, I think. You remember, right? It's kind of got interesting install. Next button's way over here on this screen. Maybe the driver doing it exactly fast. Yeah. And time zone, the time zone, so yeah, point in there. Okay, you now here to install fresh code on the side of the existing operating system. You can also replace resistant Debian to bookworm installation with Solus. All that is just to be destroyed before it's all fresh copy Solus. Erase all content on this disk and install a fresh copy Solus. Bring you some outputs for testing your previously created. If you want to do that, mod method, you want to, you'd have to, I mean, you have to go to Gpart it or some other disk or something like that and set up your partition before you went over. So we're going to choose the option to just erase all content on this disk. It's all fresh copy of Solus. And I'm not going to worry about LVM installation or anything like that. So I'm going to leave that next. What name should you give this computer user's network? I will always use Legion for this, so I'm going to stick with it. Hmm, I spell it correctly. Legion. Okay, now. Create new ESP on me. Yeah, it's going to do that automatically, so it's going to do that. Okay, now I use the name. And this is interesting. You add as many as you want using this. So, phone to the internet, of course. Use your name. Rick, real name. Um, yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. Password. Password. Everything checks out. I can add myself now. Now, if you want to add more people, you could hit the plus button here, but otherwise, we'll move on. Because I'm just going to enter myself in there. Administer capacities, capabilities, all that good stuff. Okay, so now you get your summary. Rewrite for installation. So there's everything it's going to do. It's going to put a GP partition on on my NVMe on this computer and it's going to create a root partition of one terabyte and four gigabyte swap partitions and it's going to create a 512 megabyte FI system partition so that's what it's going to do there so I'm going to go net install okay yeah, it's just check and like the peppermint or some of them that gives you opportunity to say, oh no, I didn't mean to hit that button. <laughs> of course, we even intend to hit that button, so we're going to say, okay, where we go. Applying all the stuff, that's pretty quick. It's 5 to 11.36 right now, so we'll see what it is when we come back. We're back, it's 11.39, it takes like two, three minutes, basically, for it to go through this little installation thing pretty quick yeah I'd say so so now we'll go ahead and we'll go to uh, restart now so we get Legion see the Nobu driver works out of box it says so far so far it looks nice at least <laughs> I can barely see the mouse either on there but it's right there and we have it up
Okay, we're good online, so that's good. Now we just have to change the display resolution so you can see things better on here. That's always helpful. And we have here see why it's so big it's like 1340 by 299 on top of it you do even more if you wanted to stop 16 by 9 so we're going down for 1080 120 I'm reading that right. It's kind of hard to see. 1920. Yeah, they get up a little bit and look at it. 1920 by 12. No, that's not what I want. Next one down, I think. Okay. Yeah. Apply that. Yeah, so I've had problems with that in the past. I worked on my computer and back there, but of course the NVIDIA driver, so you never know what the difference is going to be in those kind of things. So we'll have to display it after we install a video driver closer to, to the computer so I can see what the heck I'm doing on here. Go to power. We'll check that out. Power button behavior. Spin. Power off. Yeah, I think we're going to do that part. It's not going to blink out on us at least. And we got to figure out what we're going to do about the media drivers. I think they have a, if I'm not mistaken, I think they have a uh, driver manager in here. There's driver drivers. Install. Stop. Authenticated and we're installing video graphics stuff. So far, so good. We'll see what happens after we install it. <laughs> it's always a catch, isn't it? Okay, it says please restart your device to complete system configuration. Didn't take too long to add. So let's see. We we'll go here. Restart. I assume the grip menu will pop up if it does. And we'll just. So one thing about this, it starts pretty quick. In here. Okay, so we should have NVIDIA drivers cooking on this puppy now. So let's see. Let's go to now let's see if we can change display drivers. Oh, you read things a lot easier, huh? Here we have Solus. What do you see when you open it up, basically? 
And let's uh, see what, what information we have here on it. Now, I know that, uh, yeah, it doesn't have any set for, for, for the key bindings for, for the terminal, so we have to do that manually. And we need to improve the size a bit more, too, I think. We'll set this up. Over here to name. And we'll cell spacing initial terminal size. We'll set that to uh, let's see what happens after we set we're going to go here to text or custom file we have to click that or activate this Select that. Hopefully, this is just a so color. I like specific colors. You probably know by now. Maybe a system theme. Background. Text. It's gonna be uh, that's why they made it super big. They made it big to start out with. Bad choice, huh? So it takes, we're going to change this to wall white. All Fs. Six Fs. We're going to change your background to cobalt blue, which is... One 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 C three four. All right. Now There you go. Now, we kill out of this real quick. I don't have any key binding set up, do I? I hope. And I don't know if this will work on this or not. So, Yeah, we're going to say originally, I'm going to start at eight top or neo pet stall. So we're going to stall that real quick. Add pseudo in there. Your know, package is a package manager for Solus. And it's basically sort of like uh, Apton that you put in Sol. You can use shortcuts like I am. I'm going to use this right now so you know what I'm doing. Just full install. And then I got a H top and NeoFetch. And tap in my password. The way it goes. Now, this one is unlike long, it doesn't have a default. You have to either type in full yes or no. You can just type in why, I don't think. Yeah. Yeah, you can just tap in one and we'll do it. I just think you had to tap in the full thing, yes. Apparently not. So, uh, I clear that. And you see it's got a 
Primal is 6.3.8, point dash 240. Pretty good. Now for you, it's a EO package. Pseudo EO package. Update. Your package is upgraded. It's like fresh install. I haven't done anything since then. So that's nice. So you get that. And then you need your fetch. Okay, so you get Solus. 86 on line 64. Yeah, you're leading T5. And you get 6.3.8 dash 240, as we said. And you get 736 packages and so it's pretty minimal, isn't it? You have bash 5.1.16. You have budgie 10.7.2 desktop. It's got mutter for a window enter. And it's got material papri pa papyrus. I pronounce it papyrus. Something like that. For theme and icon sets. And you also got terminal, gnome terminal. So we're working in here. And this is part of the machine part. Yeah, we're on Intel i7 1070 dash 16 of them at 4.8 gigahertz each. And there's your NVIDIA driver we have installed. NVIDIA GeForce RTX 2060 Rev Revision A. It says we have 882 megabytes of memory. We'll see if that's actually true by typing H top. It's pretty close. 871 megabytes of memory. One megabyte off. So the effects are getting a little better. Say how well, much memory you got. So, 871 megabytes of memory. Not bad at all. But he's pretty slim on his memory usage, apparently. And you know, all 16 cores out there cooking away and stuff. Pretty good, actually. So, so far it seems to be working. No quirk, quirks yet. Yeah, I need to set my key bindings up in this thing, which I think maybe I'll do at some point. If this works well, I'll probably keep it on here for the time being. So, yeah, always updating in video drivers seem to be the cat, so updates in video drivers sometimes it doesn't update them right or something that goes weird on it, but fezzes it out, that kind of thing. So, see what happens later on when we go into it. But so far, the installation of them been perfect. Not a problem, no issues, no, no, how to figure out things. So, okay, so the next thing we're going to do, we're going to take a look at the background. You see a lot of nice backgrounds in here. Some of them I know Peter wouldn't like, but bear with me, Peter, I want to select one of those. So just have to look at this. So, yeah. I kind of like this one a little bit. It's kind of interesting. Yeah. It's a little crab thing. In his shell. Crab in his shell. Look at those eyes. Oh. Yeah, so. Or you can do, if you like kitty cats, you can do a cat. Meow. Meow. I also got a lot of nice scenery photos in here. Yeah, that one. It's got some abstract thing to think towards more towards the end. Some Peter won't like. There's a nice nice uh background. Kind of grandeur. I tell you what I like to for the end I think more or somewhere in the middle. So it real quick. So you see it a why. And their cat and there's the 
bird otters. I see it's otter wood. Here we go. Space, the final frontier. Probably put on one of the cuter wooden kitty cats and stuff. So for for uh, here's some abstract from that I mentioned toward the end. You Saturn, those little little drawn to me. So, it's not one of NASA's photos like this one is. Everybody knows what this photo is. This one, the astronauts on the moon take a picture of Earth in the background. It's perfect. So, yeah, so you got a lot of photos here. You can choose from some real nice. I think I'm going to go, though, for the outdoor family computer. I think I'm going to go for Kitty Cat. Or one of these mountain things. That's just pretty nice. Yeah, we'll go with that for the time being. I put a kitty cat on there later on, but that's pretty majestic looking. In. So those are some of the backgrounds you have available for you. Now we'll take a look at the uh, programs we have installed on here. Your accessories. Yeah, your bungee screenshot, bungee screenshot calculator. Gedit Nemo. Nemo's file manager on here, by the way. Which I like Nemo. It's one of my favorite file managers, so I'm good with that, obviously. And you have Image Gear and LibreOffice Draw. So a lot of the box stuff I haven't sold anything other than Neopets and and uh, HTOP on here, which you saw earlier. There's Firefox on a bird or installed for internet activities. Very minimal so far, huh? And you got LibreOffice installed out of the box for your, your, you have celluloid, rhythm box, music player, set up for the videos, Music player for music. <laughs> That's good. System tools. Yeah, you have all your bungee control center, bungee desktop settings, you part of the partition editor, hardware drivers, video and server settings. Master your server settings there with the video. Print settings, software center, system monitor, terminal. Boy, do that, oh, you want to show you how to set up the, uh, yeah, software center. Now, you know, software center only installs things out of the, the repositories. Doesn't install flat packs or, to my knowledge, doesn't install snaps. But snaps, flat packs are both pre-installed on here. But, uh, we'll go over that in a minute. Universal access. See so your onboard and onboard settings. Utilities. Advanced Network Configuration Archive Manager, Disk and Disk Usage Analyzer, Other, Document Viewer and Password and Keys. So that's all that you got there. And here in this corner you got Budgie Desktop Settings and your System Settings and your Power Button so you can get out of here when you need to. We got your Rhythm Player your celluloid, your launching Firefox, launch Nemo, and launch software center. Yeah, you have a keyboard to set up your launchers. There's, there's only one enabled here, it's the help launcher. Now I'm going to set this to where it's super easy. I want to show you something here. That's here when I'm doing this. 
I don't know why I did it, but maybe we'll do it on this one. We'll do it on my one in the my tests and testing computer in there. These are all settings. You may have your own lock key bindings, or maybe you don't even use key bindings. This part's boring too, but bear with me. I don't want to spend too much time here. I just want to show people who do use key bindings know about this. It's kind of weird a bit, but it works. I have a way to get around it. Go Windows. I keep pressing wrong thing. Super Q. Set that. And we'll go out of this for the time being. Alright, now. It works. Q closes that window. Cool, huh? Yes, yeah, so now I put Win C, you bring them Nemo, right? Okay, got that? Good. Now let's go in here, Software Center. So you can see that. And it's got everything. You, got, you can update it through here. I'm going to search. Look for my favorite terminal emulator, Kitty. Here, kitty, kitty, kitty. There it is. So we're going to install it. Go here and install it. Okay, yeah, the dependencies are fine. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, key is installed. Now, when I go down and press Super E again, instead of bringing up uh, the Nemo, it brings up my kitty. I don't know why, but it is. It's like it's hardwired into that. It's strange, isn't it? <laughs> I read that happen on the other distro, but this one, for some reason, it brings up that. What I've done to get around that is I go in Nemo. I go into back in the keyboard settings. Go back down here. And now playing basically a Basically, I'll get some shortcuts. Edge shortcut. And I uh, got Kitty here. And here's the Kitty. Say shortcut. I like to have that as super inner. Now, also, I want to set up another one here. We're going to set a new file manager. New mode. Step shortcut and you super here. They'll so say it's going to take it away and replace that. Places the old, old you need to start use your home folder. Says if you replace it, home folder will be disabled. Replace now. You know, super E once again bring up Nemo. Yay. And if you want a kitty, you go there. And to learn about how to install kitty on there, and figure it and all that kind of stuff, I got videos on that early on. So you can check on those. There's a lot more you say about it. Anyway, let's go back and we'll have a chat about it. So this is a good distro, I think, now. 
At least is its current configuration. And of course there's going to be some hesitancy by some people to totally adopt it simply because of its history of going down the drain, so to speak, or nearly dying off, seemed like, well, while there. Every district could do that, pretty much. Some of them are more stable because they have a big community working on them. They have a decent community on Solus. But, yeah, you need some leadership that's on some of these distro devs and stuff. You need a leader to really take about bull by the horns and give it direction, guidance, and vision. That's what's so critical about, about these distros is vision they have, I think. Yeah, but uh, anyway, Solus has done a lot of people good. I know some people who really like Solus a lot. And I've liked it the time they've used it. And yeah, it's pretty cool. It boots up fast. It it's a clean system, professional looking. Uh budgie desktop's real nice desktop if you want to use that or if you want to use one of the other ones, you're more welcome to use those. If you're familiar with plasma or with gnome, you use one of those distros. And I think they'll have one alone. That's another thing I wanted to show you. X11 is a graphical environment, but it doesn't have Wayland on the budgie, so if you want Wayland, you probably have to go with the GNOME version, or KD Plasma version, probably. It yeah, would have it. So, with all that said, I think that's about it. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done so previously, and you want to install more of my videos, or hit the and hit the like button down there. So you know, like it, and get more and more interaction, more traffic I get, and more I get up to ratings, rankings, stuff like that. So make comments on videos, say it's good, bad, whatever. Till next time, may the Lance Force be with you. Bye.